Sullivan. Uh, she is a happiness expert and a uh, self uh, self empowerment coach. So Peggy, thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm terrific this morning. Uh, Peggy, you know, when we look back to 2021, kind of how I was just telling our viewers, you've had natural disasters, you've had a lot of political news, we've had a COVID-19 pandemic entering its third year now, a record number of cases alone this week. So how do people even begin to unpack some of the situations that have happened, uh, you know, in the world and to all of us personally? It has become way too easy to put happiness on the back burner. I think we've all done it, but I have a theory. And my theory is happiness is like a muscle and the bigger and the more you flex it, the bigger it gets, the stronger it gets. And when you don't use it, you lose it. And that has been the case for a lot of us because it's just been challenging. Life has been challenging, but I'm a firm believer that you have to have a paradigm shift and you have to take responsibility for your own happiness. I learned at a very, very young age that happiness is a choice. I watched my mother die incredibly young. She had a brain tumor, she had pancreatic cancer. Life was really hard and she was very angry, bitter, and in a lot of pain. And then one magical day, she just wasn't. And I asked her what changed and she looked me in the eye and she said, I have just discovered the biggest lesson in life and that is happiness is a choice. You can choose to be happy no matter what you're up against. And if you do, your life will be so much richer, so much better. So I figured, hey, if my mother could choose happiness when she was going through so much challenge, well then it's going to be my mission in life to help other people find happiness and choose happiness. And the reality is happy people live longer, they get sick less often, they have more energy, they have better relationships. I call all of that the really, really good stuff. And I think we should all want more of the good stuff for ourselves. We should own it, we should claim it. Yeah, and you know, Peggy, you make a number of great points there. Something that we have learned, especially just being in the news business in general, uh, looking back at these last couple of years, you truly don't know what day could be your last. So when you talk about uh, living in the moment and creating these happiness moments for yourself, uh, what advice do you have to people who, uh, like you just said, it, it may be hard for them to be positive right now with everything going on? I, I think there are a couple of things. Um, I say live in the present. There are so many amazing things that are so beautiful that are going on right now. You know, I look around me at my desk and I have some fresh cut flowers from across the street and they are beautiful and they make me really happy. And I think it's so important that we do things that make us happy. This morning when I got up, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I really want to get up. It's early this morning and I'm tired. But I did that paradigm shift and I said, you know what? I'm going to choose to be happy. And I put a smile on my face and it just felt so much better. So I say, what do you do to be happy? You know your go-to things that make you happy. You know, for me, it's dark chocolate. It's feeling the sun on my face. It's exercise. But you need to know those things and they can be very, very small things. They don't need to be big things. Yeah, and you know, you and I were uh, kind of talking, Peggy, along with your team, and something that I love that you have touched on uh, to people you've spoken with before is a happiness tripod, which is a three major points. So can you tell our viewers what a happiness tripod is? I, I love this. Yeah, I, I, I really believe this uh, wholeheartedly and that Happiness has three legs of it, three components of it. There's your mindset and having a positive mindset. There's your health and wellness. And we all know that without our health, we're really, it's an uphill battle. And then, and then the third leg is your professional growth. And if all of these aren't kind of the same, you know, think about sitting on a three-legged stool and one leg is shorter. You never get quite comfortable. You know, you think about a situation like, I just got a new job. I am so thrilled. I'm working so hard 
I have no time for myself. I have no time for my family. I'm starting to get really exhausted. That's not the perfect situation. Happiness, you really need to think about all three legs of the stool, your mindset, your personal growth, and your health and wellness. That is how you can maximize your happiness. You know, Peggy, I am a huge uh, believer in it's you can manifest anything that you want. So how can, you know, going off of the happiness tripod, how can we use happiness as a tool uh, to go about getting what we want in life? I know not every situation is perfect, but almost if you think it, it can happen, right? Oh, I so agree. And I think personal energy is really the key to this. And just making sure that your personal energy is really up there. I'm a firm believer that there are three types of people in the world. There's a mojo maker, a middle rotor, and a gloom and doomer. And we can decide who we want to be. And the mojo makers, they are people that light up the room. They are the people that get things done. They are the people that get invited to teams, get invited to parties, the people you want to be with. So if you want great things to happen to you, you have to be a mojo maker. You have to have your personally personal energy on high. Yeah, and you know, uh, something that I feel like has been huge, Peggy, and that we've touched on it a couple of times throughout the year, obviously with a lot of tensions high, uh, regardless of any sort of situation someone is dealing with, uh, what advice do you have for people that may have let uh, their happiness or maybe not feeling so happy impact their personal relationships? We have seen this pandemic take a huge toll uh, when it comes to people's mental health. So what advice do you have for people that may need to uh, or may want to work on personal relationships or even building new relationships? It, that's that's so important because we tend to um, take our feelings out on the people we love. But the reality is they're going through this too and they need your help and they need your support. And I say, just throw everybody just a little bit of compassion and give them a little bit of, of, of love. I mean, we all need love right now. We all need happiness and we're tending to sweat the big stuff and the small stuff. And we shouldn't be sweating the small stuff, the unimportant stuff. To have somebody in your life who loves you, who makes you happy, that's such a blessing, such a joy. And we need to get past sweating that small stuff and realizing, hey, I'm in this together with you and together we can really do this thing called life. Definitely. And uh, Peggy, all of this is really outlined in your book about happiness this is why you're a happiness expert. Uh, happiness is your responsibility. So are there any uh, major points that you've written about that we may have missed? What can you tell our viewers? Well, I, th I think one of the things that's really important is just to be present. It's so easy to get into our head and to get lost into everything that we're thinking or doing. I can remember one time in the pandemic and I run a nonprofit um, that was really struggling and my head was spinning about that. So I decided to go out for a walk and I'm walking, walking, and I see this giant shepherd playing with a butterfly on his nose and he's flipping it up and it was the most joyous thing and I almost missed it and it really occurred to me that so many times there's so much beauty in the present all around us so much fun so much captivating going on I mean I'm looking outside and I see a squirrel climbing a tree what a delight take delight in the small things Absolutely. Well, Peggy, a lot of sound advice as we ring in 2022 after another hectic year. Uh, I think something that was so interesting to me, and it happens every year in Times Square, is they have a good riddance event. So, you know, when it comes to looking back on the bad things, we turn them into the positive and bring them into a new year. So we really appreciate you joining us here on Live Now from Fox, and we hope you yourself have Thank a happy you and so safe much. new year. You too. This was fabulous. I wish everybody out there a happy and healthy new year and move forward with a happier disposition. It will bring you beautiful things. Absolutely. No better advice than that to take into 2022. Thank you so much, Peggy. All right.